We left on page 173 yesterday. We're in Ches. We decided to... We decided a position in the Mechaber that if you have... Um, a center bar and the covering down the center. The bar going straight again across the center. So it comes down like on a diagonal. And you're there, but it's something which is permanent. It's part of the bed. So then even if it's less than ten tefachim, even if it's less than, t- and you, although you don't have a, a tefach on top, it's not valid. If you're sitting within this canopy bed, although it's not a four-posted bed, it's only a center bar and it comes down like on a diagonal, you're not Yotze. That's the first, that's one, the first opinion. In the sukkah. That is within the sukkah. The other one says that if it's less than ten tefachim, you are Yotze. It's because on top you don't have the tefach, and it's less than ten tefachim, Yotze. Although it has a permanence to it, because it's part of the structure of the bed. Okay? Let's see over here, we're only ches. Afilam enim gvom asoro. Even if the height is not ten, hainu min amito lemalo. Vatam shechmiru, we say from the bed going upward. Vatam shechmiru b'zeh mishum dekvi b'chosek. Moshe kasavnu, v'avagav demita gam kein kavua. V'konkom ene asuya lishon tachteo el agabo. has a wide door. What do you have to disassemble it? Why? First of all, a three, a three wall took is sufficient. Right? So the fourth wall is wide open. Bring it right in. Right? No problem. No, it's not the issue. There's no problem. No, it has nothing to do with but you're contained in, a, in your own location. That's the problem. Okay? Yeah. I feel I mean, Gvor Masoro. Hainu minamitu lamalo. Even though we said before, he says, if you measure from the bed going upward, it's less than ten tefachim. Even though before we said, when you measure the ten tefachim, it's from the ground up. As he, he said before in Hey, Modin miaro. Ava bishay nasur tefachim minamitu lamalo. Right? You don't measure from the bed, you measure from the ground to the top. So I don't know what he means over here. Hainu minamitu, what it says, it's less than ten. That's from the bed. So I think, no, so what, no, 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 no. I, I think, I mean, if you measure from the ground to the top, you have ten. This is where it comes down on diagonal. You don't sleep under the bed, you sleep on top of the mattress. This, seemingly, this is going according to the opinion, even though it's Momachmir. Where is it? I feel like Gavua Sora. Ches. Now, this is going on the case where it's the four, four, four posted. This is the four posted, four posted bed. Okay, let's do the next halacha. Dalit. Poras sadin tachas aschach lenoi. Okay, this comes up. You know, you decorate the sukkah. We have noi sukkah. Noi is the beautification. You have fruits hanging. You have different ornaments or decorations in the sukkah hanging from the schach. So if you have the decorations out and you sit, one of the decorations may be directly over your head. So why is not a problem? You're not sitting directly under the schach. You have a decoration hanging above your head. Okay, so let's say a person goes and takes a sheet, which is, let's say, like a mural, colored sheet, a tapestry, and hangs it under the schach. So you're under the tapestry. When the tapestry is under the, directly under the schach, is it a problem? Okay? P. 
Peris Sadin Tachas Haschach Lusnoi Im Hu Besoch Arbot Tvochim Lagag Kshero. If it's within four Tvochim, within 16 inches of the Schach, it's not a problem. We say that it's considered subsumed by the Schach. It doesn't have its own identity. Im Hu Rochok Arbot Tvochim in Agag Psulo. But if it's, there's a distance from between the, this tapestry and the schach, if there is four tefachim, 16 inches, then it's possible. We'll see. What about if it's, he just puts this tapestry there? It's not to beautify the sukkah. It's, let's say, the cat, we'll discuss later, let's say, things, leaves fall onto the sukkah. Let's say the schach is made of thistles or whatever it may be, or uh, pine needles. And you don't want the pine needles to fall onto the table. You put, the, put it there to catch things. So it's not to beautify the sukkah. Even if it's within 16 inches of the schach, it's invalidated. The sukkah is not valid. He says, therefore, when you hang any noy sukkah, any ornaments to beautify the sukkah, make sure it's, they're within four tefachim of the schach. Okay. No, no, no. We'll say, we'll say, we'll say, we'll say. Why is four? You're right. Four is always normally four is on on, on a horizontal plane. Four is a, is a mokum hanocha, right? Four is always a location. It's always identified by four tefachim, right? If you put something, no four tefachim. If you have a post. The surface area, the horizontal surface area is always four tefachim. That's called the lo location of of capacity to contain. That contains. He was talking about distance. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. From the schach, the beam or the schach. Right. It's usually within 16 inches. Yes, it's not a problem. Not a problem. But he was saying if you take a tapestry, I mean, you totally, yeah. you're under the tapestry. Directly underneath. But if it's, we were saying, if it's within 16 inches of the schach, we see it as part of the schach. It doesn't have its own identity. It doesn't have its own, it loses its identity. We'll see. Let's see the Mishnah Burrow. You mean like netting, not a, not a tapestry, netting. Not netting, netting. Netting is to protect you. It has nothing to do with schach. This is no sukkah. It has to beautify the sukkah. Netting has nothing to do with beautification. We were talking about the, uh, things falling down from the uh, schach. The mechaber is not talking about That's not no sukkah. That's not beautification. There's nothing to block, block with your light, right? Horizontally, underneath, straight across. No, we'll see. We'll see. I'm seeing we have you have a way to work it out. You get you, you get a tapestry, but it's made of plastic. Doesn't mean a sheet. And you hang it under the schach, and it's all it's color. It has all kinds of printings on it. You, you, you're safe. Rain's not a problem. We'll keep the rain out, right? So there's a way to to deal with all these issues. We'll see. Dalit. Use other types of materials that don't qualify to be schach. Anything which is makabal tuma, correct? Anything which is susceptible to contamination doesn't qualify as schach. You have vessels hanging. You have fruits. It's also food. It's double makabal tuma. Ksheira, the betelim him legabe schach. They're considered subsumed by the schach. Or in Yud, umuto leishev, a few leishev tari can sit under it. The morochi abrot tvochim, the kaim shirochokim abrot tvochim in aschach, chashiv bapi nafshay, v'lo batli gabi sichoch. If there's distance of four tvochim, you see them independent of the schach, and they're not subsumed by the schach. When Yimsu sheni Yoshi b'tzel suka, Ella b'tzel noy suka. He's not sitting in the shade of the suka, but he's sitting in the shade of the ornaments, the decorations. What about if these ornaments, these decorations, they don't provide 
more shade than some. Ishmaqil Shoya, Hamos Murubitsilo, other others want to be make lenient, that if it's it's brought for him and they don't provide shade, even if he's sitting on there, it's not a problem. Because they become irrelevant. Psula Hainuk Shesh Bashir Abat Fochim to Kshar Shah Posul Shishura Pose Kabsitari. The Mobemsa Posukla Sukim Tamse, the Meno Lunoi, I bear locha, we can have seen the bear locha. What about if they're put there not for beautification? So even if it's within three tvachim, within four tvachim, it's considered an interruption between yourself and the schach. You don't see it subsumed by the schach. Alpishu betoch arba tvachim, vo adin afil ene muflug bin aschach tefach. Even it's within a tefach. So it's definitely within lovut. It's literally up against the schach. Elo nokat arbot iri derasia. Okay? Excuse me. This is where it's for beautification, for decoration. It's not seen as part of the schach. No, less than four you don't deal with the interruption. No, 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 no. no. Regarding this particular thing, where it's, it's an ornament, it's a decoration. If it's less than four tvochim, it's not a problem. I mean, that's what I'm saying. This is a separate halach. It's not lovut. Meaning, it's it's more than three tvochim. It's not a problem. As long as it's not four or more. No, 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 no. no. They're saying if it's not for the sake of beautification, he says. That's that distance. That's a dis that's a question of distance. Lovut. Is connected. Yeah, okay, so connected, it's connected, therefore what? Correct? Okay. So here, now, what about the three to four? We don't no, that's disconnected. Three to four, it's 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 not to four, anything three or more is disconnected. You, there's a gap. There's a gap, all right. So how does this work? It has nothing to do with gap or not a gap. The question is, do we see it as part of the schach or not part of the schach? It's not a separate halacha. If it's within four tefachim, we see that as ornamenting the schach. So since we see it as ornamenting the schach, so it's subsumed by the schach. It's schach which ornaments the sukkah. If it's four, it, you don't see it. It's, you see it in ornament unrelated to the schach. We'll, we'll see the bear alocha. We'll see the bear alocha. We'll see the bear alocha. In, 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 in distance. Right, 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 right. Okay, well, there's a bare loch on this. We'll have to see it. One second. He says, even if it's less than a tefach, I read the ratio. He says, therefore, he says, when you hang decorations in the sukkah, the Ramos says, you should make sure to hang them that it's less than four tefachim. Rotsaloma after Medina in lesser rak berucha varbot tvochim chenal mikol moki shlizor lachatchila fila ene rocha varbot tvochim. Second. Now he says although when we speak about schach posul it's only if it's four tvochim wide. We talk here we're talking about distance. He says, all, he says, but if, he says, when you hang the ornament, make sure the ornament's always within four tefachim of the schach. Say, the Mishnah Burab brings up the point. He says, but although the halach is that if you have schach posel in the middle of the sukkah, if it's less than four tefachim wide, it's not, a, it's not an issue. Kobalki shenzor chathchil afilei nerochim varba tefachim, sheyesh lochus sheyasid no yeharbe yachi ben shir is every yeshev tachto. Of course, we're concerned. If he's a little spare, so came to the door of the Sachi Ben, a filo noi, el toch arbo tvochim, the Sach Komokum, Lignan Tlias Menoros, a suko, Neger a shuchon, a tzorch lahachmi, she toch arbo tvochim. He says, What about if you hang a lantern to illuminate the suko? So we're saying, Mikaradin, if it's less than four, four tvochim wide, it's not a problem. You can sit on the schach posu. Wide, 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 wide. No, no. If it's within four, it's not a problem. So let's say you have a lantern, 
which illuminates the sukkah. If it's within four tefachim, it's not a problem. Even if the lantern is a wide lantern, because that's to illuminate the sukkah. That's like an ornament. But you realize, but you have a problem, because if the fire is too close to the schach, you may have a fire. So he's saying, normally we're machmir if it's more than four, because a person will confuse, because it may be wi- it may be wide, it may be wi- four or more wider, which is a problem if you sit under it. If it's w- four wide, it's within four. It's irrelevant because it's ornamenting the sukkah. What about if it's at a distance of four or more? If it's not an ornament, it's a problem. But it has to be four. So he says, nevertheless, you should be machmir even if it's less than four because the person will confuse the two. So what about it's a lantern? A lantern, you should not be machmir. Because with a lantern, the farther, further it's away from the schach, the safer you are. Otherwise, you're going to have a fire. That's what he's saying. For instance, there's a halacha that in a small sukkah, you should put the lantern outside the sukkah, the Gemara says in sukkah. You should tr- have it and the illumination comes from outside the sukkah in. Because if you have a small sukkah, it's just a question of time before you're going to have a fire. No, that's not a problem. Then you should be machmir. Then you should be machmir. Let's say you have uh, over... Uh, you have, uh, fluorescent lights. Very often you have a beam. Mm-hmm. Oh, go- you have a beam which illuminates. Mm-hmm. So if it's less than four tefachim, it's never a problem. But he says you should be machmir if it's, if it's within, if it's, there's a distance between it, the pendant and the schach, you should be machmir. Because not sit under it. However, let's say a person has no choice, you could sit under it. As long as with wise, it's not for tefachim. But if you have a fixture, very well, a fixture is, yeah. in its right, this it is it is sixteen inches. No, 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 no. It's not a problem. First, it's not a problem there. Firstly, there it's first it's an ornament because that's no different than ornament. It's illuminating the sukkah. Very often you have a beam underneath, and you know. You'd sit under. And you have a metal fixture First, it's not. It's not 16. It's not 16 inches wide. It's not 16 inches wide. It's not. It's long. Long, long is it's long, but it's, it has to be wide. You're sitting under something which is over your head 16 inches wide. It's possible. It's not. Yeah. Even that. You can sit under it. It's not a problem. Yeah, but what, what's the function of the metal? Illuminate, so that, that that's part of that's like ornamenting the sukkah. It makes the sukkah livable. It's providing light. If it's within s- 16 inches of the schach, even if it be four wide, it's not a problem. If it's il- if it's enhancing the sukkah, okay. so light definitely enhances the sukkah. So, in the case of the canopy bed, that's nothing to enhance from the sukkah. That's protecting you. I understand. So really, the issue is really what is enhancing the sukkah and what is not. There, it's a separate discussion. There, you contain in your own location. It has no relevance to the sukkah. I'm saying it's less than less than a penalty. Uh, it's okay, but not. That's an oil. That's an oil. It's two separate issues. So, so really, it's about the what's ornamenting the sukkah is, is really. Uh, it's a yeah, here it's a question of is it schach? Is it a problem of schach posel? Or you're sitting under the schach, or you're sitting under something else. If you have a plastic horizontal picture under your schach, right? I and mean, that's we discussed that. So if you get a mural which covers the total okay. length of, it, and it, it has a double function, it keeps the rain out and it ornaments the sukkah. You're going to tell me you can sit under it. Seemingly, it's, it's, it's seemingly it's a problem. Right. We have seen a baralocha. We have seen a baralocha on this. There's nothing, there's nothing, I want to make it, what I want to make it, there's nothing.